Um, the idea that so you don't like you don't like attacks on you don't like attacks on democracy. So presumably you would unreservedly condemn the attempted assassination of Donald Trump because that's one of the most egregious attacks on American democracy in modern times. Presumably, you will take this opportunity, to, given you I, are I so anybody... determined to protect the integrity of democracy, you would find it absolutely outrageous that someone has tried to assassinate a president, right? If if the other conservatives on this show want to say that it was absolutely outrageous no, that Donald you. Trump attempted to coup the government, I'm asking then, you. then maybe then I would. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get on my knees and, and, and beg for uh, forgiveness or, or show sympathy I'm to conservatives. To, I'm not asking none. for that. I'm asking you to condemn what happened as an egregious attack on, a, on democracy. Can you do that? No, I won't. No, I won't. I won't you can't do that. that. You see, not so why the hell, absolutely frankly, not. Destiny, absolutely not. why absolutely the not. hell absolutely should we not. listen to a not. word you have to say about... Hey guys, my name is Devorah Darkens. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be responding to really the just downfall of the most woke liberal on the internet, also known as Destiny. Uh, Destiny is just, you know, a person on the internet. He's pretty famous with what he does with streaming. And every now and then he has to give you this wild take that gets him a lot of attention, and here we are again. So what actually has happened? Well, let me just show you a preview of it, as you can see here. It's, quote, Donald Trump incited an insurrection and then was granted full criminal immunity for possibly all of his involvement, which is not necessarily true. I have zero sympathy for anything that happens to him or anyone who supports him. Okay, and so before I go any further and dive into this, because he's actually on Pierce Morgan, by the way, today, um, we're going to play that clip for you as well. You know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Now let's play that video. Uh, let me bring in Destiny, because uh, you've been at the center, as you know, of a, a massive uh, online response to what you were saying. Uh, and I want to go through what you said, and I want to talk to you about this, in, in a hopefully in a, in a calm manner, to try and understand what you were thinking. So on Saturday evening, hours after the shooting, you said, let me clarify, when I say conflicted, what I mean is I lean towards seeing it as a natural extension of the thing Trump and the MAGA kids support. So I don't think I have much sympathy about the attempt enough to chastise people celebrating it. You, you couldn't find it uh, in your heart to chastise people for celebrating the near assassination of, the, of a, a man who was president of the United States. Now, before we continue, just really pay attention to his mindset and reasoning. And I would probably say, uh, this is exactly what's wrong with people on the left, okay? Uh, one key principle to growth in life, to becoming your best self, is taking responsibility, implementing accountability, and calling out other people who you support, right? And if you're not willing to do that, then you become the very thing that you are fighting against, right? So let, let's listen to his answer maybe again absolutely not conservatives have completely bled that well dry and the idea that they after engaging in the most divisive and most extreme rhetoric that this country has seen in recent history that they would come on and, and beg for sympathy that it's escalated in some kind of violent confrontation is absolutely insane even the got it so conservatives are begging for sympathy right uh pierce morgan is not a conservative he's not an american we know this okay he's a brit and he doesn't really choose sides. We know this. And two things could be true at the same time, right? It, it can be true that both sides have gone out publicly and have said things that could be construed as someone waking up one day and taking violent action. And it can also be true that whoever took the violent action, whether it was against President Biden or against President Trump, they also are absolutely wrong, and they are a threat to our democracy. Those two things can be true, but that's when you're thinking for yourself. That's when you can discern and truly look at facts as they really are. But when you are emotionally triggered, unhinged, deranged, and looking to probably get people's reaction. So in a way, this is a win for him because he, I feel, I'm getting the impression with this entire meltdown on his behalf, 
is that I think he's rage baiting. I think he's purposely saying these things, not because he absolutely believes them, but I think he's really doing it because he knows at the end of the day, this is another way to get more attention. This is another way to spark conversation and get into arguments. And I think he actually gets a kick out of it, which in my opinion, makes him a little bit sick. Right now, I'm saying, well, if you call somebody a Nazi for so long, it's, you know, what do you expect people to do? I grew up listening to Rush Limbaugh call Obama a communist every single day he was on the radio. Um, you've got conservatives that talk about how the mRNA vaccines were ways to sneak microchips into us. You've got COVID lockdowns that were done because the government was trying to take all your freedom away. They won't acknowledge anything that happened on January 6th. Um, they say that the election was stolen and that your country is being taken from you. Like, I don't think anybody should be killed. I don't think anybody should go out and kill anybody. But when you engage in this type of rhetoric and when you turn the temperature up over and over and over and over again, mm. there is absolutely no room. Right. So it's it's only conservatives that have turned the temperature up. It's only conservatives that have contributed to violent rhetoric. It's only conservatives. That is his stance. That's his mindset around around this. You say, Shocked okay, but you say, and okay. there certainly is a review to ask for sympathy. But you say, you, but but Destiny, you say you don't want anybody killed. And yet you say, I don't think I have much sympathy about the attempt to chastise people celebrating it. It's people celebrating the near assassination of Donald Trump. If you can't find it in you to chastise people who do that, aren't you just as despicable as the people you've just spent the last two minutes haranguing? Yeah, this is the problem with politics in general, right? And where our country is today is that sooner or later, boundaries need to be set. Right. There are certain lines you should not be willing to cross because at the end of the day, people have to be held accountable. That's number one. Two, at the end of the day, people need to take responsibility for how they have contributed to a situation. That's why mindset is so important. And unfortunately, what's lost in this whole political conversation are these principles that I'm talking about. Right. And I think it's really easy as a conservative to be like, hey, you know what? Yeah, we've been kind of crazy on certain topics. Yeah, Donald Trump has said some violent rhetoric on social media. Yeah, people could probably take that too seriously. I don't I don't see any conservative not willing to admit that actually. I, I really don't. But what I do see is people like uh, Destiny here and people on the left and even in the media and the president of the United States still unwilling to walk back their comments and what they've contributed to the situation. And in fact, I'll show you the clip where he says that. Lester, look, why don't you guys ever talk about the 18, the 28 lies he told? Where, where are you on this? Why didn't the press ever talk about that? 28 times it's confirmed he lied in that debate. Seriously, you won't answer the question, but why didn't the press talk about all the lies he told? Well, I don't know have, anything about that. We have, re we have reported many of the issues that no, came up during that debate. No, you haven't. Well, if you go back and listen to those things that J.D. Vance said about Trump. <laughs> well, he said some things about you, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, he did that interview, right, and which has kind of been under the radar because of the RNC is going on right now. But he, in that interview, refused to say, you know what, I shouldn't have said bullseye, I shouldn't have said threat to democracy, and I'm not going to walk it back. I mean, that's literally his attitude. Right. And so the problem right now that the, the Democrats are facing at the RNC right now, every conservative or Republican, call them whatever you want, who's gotten on the stage, whether they are an elected official or not, they have been speaking unity. They are not blaming the Democrats. They're not blaming President Biden for the attempted assassination. They're not doing any of that. They are taking responsibility and they're trying to cool things down. But people like Destiny, they have yet to get the message. No, because they've yes, led the is. way. This is the environment that they've created. So you just, I, if somebody, so you think behaving like a, the people you think are despicable is the correct course of action? Mm. Not about behaving, behaving like the people who are despicable would be leading that type of letter, would be leading that type of rhetoric. It would be denying every single You're bad thing. How many times as a liberal, they do, how though. many times, how many times as a liberal have you been on a show, not you in general, but like a liberal been on a show and you've been forced to disavow all of the BLM riots, disavow all of the violence and blah, blah, blah. And then you talk to yeah. conservatives about disavowing it. Disavowing violence, that was that's good. Yeah. January 6th. Oh, like conservatives disavow January 6th? Yeah, Pierce Morgan's right on it. I mean, destiny has become the very thing that he despised. And this is what ha has happened in the black community, by the way. And let me go full screen on this one because I know some people are going to be upset, but I'm going to call it what it is. Black people have become the very thing they fight against. In some cases, black people have become 
the racist people that they don't like because of their rhetoric, because of how they treat people, because of how they see people and the legislation and policies they want implemented. So at the end of the day, you can't have it both ways, right? It's kind of like two wrongs don't make a right. Okay, so let's go with him. Let's say everything he's saying is correct. Conservatives have never apologized. They don't want to cool it down. So you think the best course, course of action is to be just like that or to rise above that and be different and be the example that you're trying to hold them accountable to? See, someone who's immature emotionally, they're not able to actually articulate that and see it that way, right? This is why I'm telling you guys again and again and again, your mindset absolutely matters, okay? You got to be making sure your mindset is good, healthy, strong, able to think for yourself, discern, critically think. Just because someone says something doesn't make it true. Just because all of the news keeps saying something doesn't make it true. Just because Donald Trump says something doesn't always make it true. You got to be able to think for yourself. But people like Destiny, I'm telling you, they are, I believe he's more of a virus than he is an antidote in today's society. This is the type of person that the internet has broke their brain, thus leaving them with very little empathy for their co-human. I mean, a good, decent father uh, is now dead because of this. He's had his brains blown out because he was defending his wife and daughter. I would hope that you have a little empathy well, for actually, that. I, I can, well, I can, I can, deserve that. Well, let me, yeah. jump, let me jump in there because we have a clip of what Destiny has said about that very thing. Let's listen to this. Fuck it. Fuck the dude. Um, the firefighter guy. Uh, fuck Trump. Fuck the people that support him. I just want you to know, okay, just in case you're confused or it seems like I'm, uh, you don't, whatever. If one of you were in the crowd and you're a conservative fan of mine and you end up, you know, getting blown away or whatever the fuck, I'm making fun of you the next day on Twitter. I am 100%. What does that lead me to believe, right? That, <clears throat> that leads me to believe that he is immature. He's not a person that is looking to lead or set an example for the next generation. Uh, I think he's just a byproduct of the internet and free speech, and you're allowed to think and say whatever you want, which is fine. That's great. I just think the issue is, though, sooner or later, if you're willing to go on these shows, right, and you're willing to support all of this, just understand you're a hypocrite, right, because you can't have it both ways. So if you don't even have the decency as a human uh, to see or have any empathy about what happened, then you're probably not the best person to be hanging around. You know, I think that's obvious. I've got to say, I just found that repulsive, Destiny. Yeah, the re re I, I wish that you, I, th there is no room, there is no room for the hand wringing. And I will, ne I will not participate in oh, this anymore. Oh, it's not hand wringing. The hand wringing. No, it's no, not it hand -wringing. absolutely is. No, it's just that you, you are positioning you yourself. So well. no, but you, when you, you are, when you no, are Destiny, in a let me world explain to you. where conservatives can say, anything no, I'm not a they can have any conspiracy theory they can have any plot they can do any of these things and then and then liberals are supposed right, to sit and be like destiny, oh my no. god it's so tragic no, destiny, absolutely not. let me explain absolutely let me explain my position because i'm not a conservative here's what i think about what you did you'd like to fire off as you've done so far in this debate about your fury at how disgusting Republicans are, how inhumane they are how they never have any empathy blah 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 blah, blah. and then you yourself actually are exactly the, the person that you're describing. You are inhuman. You are somebody who seems almost gleeful that a young firefighter with a family, with a wife and children, who he was protecting as he was shot dead, that he deserved what was- He's not even listening. I mean, look at him. He's typing on his keyboard. He can care less what Pierce Morgan is saying. Because he went to a President Trump rally a man who was president of the United States until recently for four years and maybe again. You sound almost gleeful, Destin, and I'm sorry, that makes you, frankly, despicable. I don't think I'm gleeful about anything. I you don't are. think anybody should die. I don't think anybody deserves to die. But you want to talk about gleeful? Look at the conservative response to Pelosi's husband no, no. when they broke in. I can also Yeah, you see, someone who wants to come on a show and debate, and they really want to debate with good faith, wouldn't lead with that. Right. They, they would lead with saying, I do agree that the death of this firefighter is absolutely a uh, terrible thing. And my heart goes out to him and his family and um, anybody else that was injured. Now, let me go ahead and start making my points like that would be someone going into a debate with good faith. This guy, he's deranged. He's unhinged. Clearly, he's sick in the mind. And his whole take about it, I believe, I'm telling you guys, it's rage bait. I think that's what he's really doing, and he's getting off on it.
mainstream media figures I can answer that, that. Were, I don't care. I can answer that. With all I, think, respect, I don't care what your let answer, me answer is. That. The reality is, is that conservatives have been turning the temperature up on the rhetoric. They have been making fun of these types of events for years. And now when something happens to them, now they're, they're looking for, for, uh, for sympathy from mm -hmm. the liberal side. How so it's OK for me. Since I believe that, it's okay for me to go out there and say F the family and F anybody that was there. That's basically what he's saying. And that's why he's immature. I mean, it's just idiot. It's just stupid. Absolutely not. It's insane. Right. It's unhinged yeah, that you can conduct problem. yourself in such a manner but and expect people problem. to feel sorry when things happen. Why should, why should anybody on the right listen to a word of your hectoring and lecturing about how they should behave. And by the way, for the record, the mockery of Nancy Pelosi's husband when he was attacked by an intruder with a hammer was also despicable, right? I, I can see despicable behavior on all sides and I'm happy to call it out when I see it. You, however, want to present yourself as this great kind of standard bearer of decency who see- Here's the other thing. I wish Pierce Morgan would have said this actually. Even if what Destiny is saying is true, is there a line at all? Is there boundaries? Is there any point where you would be willing to have any ounce of empathy and admit that on your side, you've contributed to some things? Is there anything out there? Is there anything in you for that, right? And here's the thing. The difference with Paul Pelosi is that he didn't die. We have someone who actually died, was murdered, right? Protecting his family and other people who were actually injured, life-threatening, and then a former president who are like millimeters from death, right? So the the level of seriousness, right? And, and the level of damages, I would say is different, right? So, I mean, he, it's so dead on. He is just disgusting. Outrageous behavior on the right time and again, and is incensed by this disgusting, inhumane behavior. I, and yet I'm time sorry, and no, again, no. I, since the attempted assassination I, of Donald Trump, you have displayed exactly the same kind of inhumane behavior. Fuck him about a, a fireman who is who is killed because he attends a rally of a guy yeah, he wants to vote with, for. My issue with the my issue with the MAGA kids is not that they are not empathetic. My issue is that they support a president that led an insurrection against the United States. I'm not here that's to That's fine. If, even if that's true. What, where's your empathy at? Where's your common decency? Where is you setting the example and the standard that you want conservatives to have? Where's that at? Police over their empathy. 80 I'm million just people voted for, for Donald empathy, Trump last time around. Saying, that's great. 80 million people voted for a guy that tried to insurrect the government, mm. and it looks like they might try to do it again. I mean, like, I don't know what you want me to say. That's these are the facts on the ground. Um, the idea that so these you don't people like you don't like attacks on you don't like attacks on democracy. So presumably, you would unreservedly condemn the attempted assassination of Donald Trump because that's one of the most egregious attacks on American democracy of modern times. Presumably, I don't think that anybody you will take this opportunity, to, given you I, are I so anybody... determined to protect the integrity of democracy, you would find it absolutely outrageous that someone has tried to assassinate a president, right? If, if the other conservatives on this show want to say that it was absolutely outrageous no, that Donald you. Trump attempted to coup the government, I'm asking then, you. then maybe then I would. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get on my knees and, and, and beg for uh, forgiveness or, or show sympathy I'm to conservatives. You to, I'm not none. asking for that. I'm asking you to condemn what happened as an egregious attack on, on democracy. Can you do that? No, I won't. No, I won't. I won't you can't do that. that. You see, not so why the hell, absolutely frankly, not. Destiny, absolutely why, absolutely not. why the hell absolutely should we not. listen to absolutely a not. word you have to say about... Wait, hold on. Why do you think conservatives... We shouldn't listen to a word that he has to say, Pierce. That's the thing. We shouldn't listen to him. And furthermore, no one should be listening to this guy. Now, I don't believe in cancellation, but I do believe in people rethinking who they follow and who they listen. And this guy should be at the top of the list. There's no question. I mean, I, I can't I can't imagine what his followers are saying. And, and I know he's already had some backlash on X, other people who respect his craft and what he's accomplished. At the end of the day, I care less about all that because at the end of the day, we're humans, right? We're human beings, we're God's children. And if you can't even for a second have humility yourself and just to say, hey, you know what? Let's put politics aside. A person who loses his life for protecting his family, yeah, that deserves uh, some empathy from me, right? Even though I don't agree with the politics or the policies or even though so-and-so made this egregious act against our country, you know, whenever, right? Like you can't have any type of empathy. You know why? Because you are unhinged, you're deranged. And guys, understand something. People like this is always gonna exist. You know why? Because people like you exist. There has to be someone who's opposite of you in this world. So if you're that person out there, you're, you're doing God's work, you're living your purpose, 
right? You can have humility. You don't have a problem taking accountability or, or even responsibility. You know that you don't believe everything that you hear. And if you did hear something and end up being false, you're not afraid to say, you know what, I was wrong on that. There has to be someone opposite of that who isn't going to do any of that because both things must exist at the same time, yin and yang. And unfortunately, Destiny is that Yang. He's part of those people who are absolutely extreme with some of their views. And this is why you can't take people like him too seriously now. We obviously had to do a video on this because I think it's really important for people to see how deranged people on the left really are and how we should really be thinking about that and what our mindset should be because we got to see what their mindset uh, is so listen what do you guys think right about destiny's take on this his absolutely not willing to have any empathy about what happened and even going to the length of saying f this and f that about the entire event what is your take on that um, do, do you agree with him? Do you disagree? I would imagine you disagree. And even Pierce Morgan, I mean, he, I mean, usually Pierce Morgan, I mean, he's pretty, you know, uh, calm. I mean, he even got worked up over this. Um, anyways, let me know all of this and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today and we'll see you in the next one.